Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles, the tarot mini forecast this week for the uh, fire signs for Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. And I am using the beautiful Hansen and Robert's little mini deck. And I'm also using my gorgeous uh, Domino Angel cards, um, which are available at my website. And uh, you can buy one, get one free. And also it's... Um, store-wide free shipping around the world okay so that is available now at my website which i'm really happy to do okay because everyone goes oh but the shipping and it's too confusing now you don't have to worry about it it's all there so i'm starting off with uh two cards for um aries and this is a shout out to my aries a friend brownie hello brownie I've, see, I told you I would say hello to you, and <laughs> I hope you have an awesome week, and uh, I hope that um, you enjoyed the gig, because uh, yesterday, if I look a little bit tired, it's because I've done a 10-hour drive and also sat for six hours watching my son play drums, and uh, his band name is Alter Drive, and I'm going to, um, going to put a link to Alter Drive. I think they've got a channel, I'm pretty sure they told me they did. He's an amazing drummer. So Brownie said, oh, you never give me a shout out. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> I've known Brownie for a long time. Anyway, uh, here we go. Let's start with Aries. And uh, sorry, I've just messed all the cards up. See what's coming up for you guys this week, okay? Aries, what can we say? All right, Aries. One, two. Okay, interesting card here. Firstly, we've got the Ten of Rods. Okay. And we've also got the Four of Coins here. Okay. This is for Aries. So have a look at this guy's face, will you? He's really concentrating, isn't he? Okay, standing on those um, coins. All right, there's a few things going on here. So firstly, Aries. I really feel for you that you tend to overthink a lot of things and this this has been happening a lot with a lot of the different signs as well we're doing this whole mental mind game stuff okay but you've also let go of a lot of things that were holding you back I feel this is passing you so you know what burdens you were holding on to you know what things that you always tend to repeat you know what things are weighing you down, and I feel that that's leaving you now. Like this is not something that you have to continue to um, focus on as a main point in your life. I really feel uh, more so that the main point may be this four of coins, where you are becoming a little bit uh, rigid in your way of thinking and maybe holding on to things a little bit too much in regard to your finances. So maybe you're scared of spending any money just in case, um, you know, nothing else is coming in and, you know, I've got to be really careful and I've got to say, and every time, I will tell you that every time I um, think that way, I don't tend to see much more coming in, you know, um, because I'm, I'm too worried about not having you, you see the difference? So some people say, I, I'm holding on to what I have, but you're focusing on not having any more, okay? Um, and so you, this is a kind of a restriction for you. This is kind of holding you back, and you don't need that. You're over-analyzing your life situation, and maybe you're thinking to yourself, what if there's no more work, and what if this happens, and this happens, and that happens, or what if... You know, I'm not able to travel or do the things that I want to do. Uh, there can be a little bit of concern that doesn't need to be there. Okay. I'm actually going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to give you another card. All right, Aries. So we'll just get a little bit more here. Right. This was underneath the deck before. Okay, so there you go. So there's something happening that, again, you're unaware of. Okay, the page of... Rod's here, look at him calling out. He has this medallion on his uh, chest as well. So there's news coming to you. This is good news. This could be news about an availability to you. I need to say that word. It could be news on a new traveling venture. 
it could be news of a new position a new job um, whatever it is it's one step up I have to say that too there's something that's been keeping you in the position where you are now and finally you're free okay you get good news you get a good result if you're going to court it's a good result you know um, but focus on that good result don't focus on what if it's not what if this happens what if that you know that is an old habit you're starting to get it sometimes and when you do get it and you stop doing that everything flows in your life really well it's when you start worrying again that you block yourself every single time so try not to do that put down anything that you don't need to be carrying let other people deal with it and charge forward now don't hold on too tightly to things that you have and not spending anything and I better not do this and I bet because you're getting yourself in a panic and when you get in a panic you block that's what you do when you overthink you block when you worry you block easy change all those things everything unblocks okay so Aries I hope that you enjoyed and stay tuned because I'm going to do a, a message from all the angels at the end now for Leo. Now remember to check your moon and rising sign too. What do we got, Leo? Okay, Leo. Straight off the bat, Leo, you're dealing with the death card. Okay, and the eight of coins. Okay, so this is interesting because I am seeing people go through these endings and beginnings very early on in the piece okay and uh, we're coming towards the end of the month that's for sure and the beginning of a new month but something inside of you has completely switched off okay you've completely changed the way in which you feel about a situation in your life you've completely changed the way in which you see the things that you do you know you've con you've changed how uh, you've focused on things you've changed how you do your spiritual things you've changed everything about yourself and the death card is saying now there is a chance for things to rebirth within you many people have been going through a real major shift in their life and you know what that is for you okay leo you know i'm a leo as well i'm a sun sign leo and i really know and get it how we can just go ah oh, look you know i'm doing this and i don't really care what anyone thinks and then we start doing it and then we go what's everyone thinking of us you know like you know should i have really done that it's like but at the time you're just like nah you know nothing's going to get in my way nothing's going to stop me you've put up with a lot of stuff and you've made a lot of changes in your life very recently you've done some amazing brave things too you know this is a really brave card you've done some amazing brave things maybe there's a water sign involved in this um, but you push through something you knew that you didn't want to take something further into your life again you didn't want to repeat a pattern and you broke it and you had all this amazing strength and I feel that that's coming right back into your life again very very quickly too there is some sort of unexpected event happening that goes bam into your life again and you're like I'm back on track you know everything is falling back into place for me you know and uh, things that were stuck are unstuck and abundance that was not happening starts to happen you know your business starts to happen your life starts to take off there's people in your life that you haven't heard from for ages that are explaining to you how they really feel about you and it's really really amazing so Leo you're going to have an amazing time you know these next let's just say we're going to have an amazing time and not put a time limit on that amazingness okay things are really really shifty and you know that you've done this okay you know it you know you've done it and you've put that into motion okay with this you've been working really hard on your work you know you've been focusing on career you really have and a lot of you are amazing teachers and you're starting to think oh I'm going to share my knowledge with other people a lot of you are studying at the moment or in school um, something similar and um, 
you know you're working really hard at this you work you know the importance in uh, in uh, your study capabilities you know that you're able to really focus on something that you love and it's easy for you to retain if it's something that you don't love doing it's like it's really hard for you to just do it you know like you're just like I, do I really have to do this you know like it's really hard for you and you know when it's something enjoyable you love it you're full of energy for it you know and that's why I do what I do with my spirituality and teach what I can and, and share with you what I know because I love it not only do I love it I live it it's my life I am myself I'm exactly how I am I may swear a little bit more in person <laughs> you know and get you know frustrated and I'm just a normal person okay but I am dedicated and focused to training to teaching to you know learning whatever I can in order to show you in an easy way and you're going through this stage and it's going to pay off for you big time okay hang in there Leos because something is happening behind the scenes that is getting you ready for a major major event in your life that you can't even believe yet and you're going to change um, your the way that you look and you're going to change the way that you feel you're going to start looking younger and younger and you're feeling more active and alive and allow your mind to go there you know don't think oh well you know that's not going to happen don't doubt yourself because you know you can see the changes in other people when they're really putting their mind to things that is going to also happen to you as well Okay, things are really shifting for you. Hang in there. There's a big prize coming. There's something that you don't know about yet that's on its way. Okay, it's like going to drop into your lap. And we like that one because we don't want to. Sometimes we like those um, surprises where we don't have to work too hard for everything because Leos like to work. Um, but perhaps maybe you have been working too hard and there's a break coming for you too. Okay, so let's do Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, oh, two cards came out, Sag, it came out, we've got the six of rods or the wands and the three of coins, okay, this is really cool, so let's start with your recognition here, okay, look at that, the sun shining on you, you're going through the crowds, you're an amazing um, artist, I want to say. Maybe you doubt your artistic talents. There you go. There's a, um, a wreath here. This is a homecoming for you. This is like an amazing time in your life where you're finally receiving the accolades and recognition that you deserve. Um, Sagittarius, you know, you're going home and you're going to open yourself up into um, a place where you feel like you are finally at home. And maybe that hasn't been the case for some time. Okay. Um, I also feel that you just need to understand, Sagittarius, that you've always got support with you and sometimes you may not feel it, sometimes you may not see it, sometimes everything is showing you the exact opposite, but you've always got this support. And when you put your mind to it and you really start focusing on that, you really start focusing on where you've come from and you know how amazing you are and how talented you are in so many different ways, when you really start focusing on that, that's when you see more of this coming in, you know, this this accolades and this fun and excitement and happiness and you're on top of the horse, you know, you're on top of the world here and everyone's looking up at you and saying, look how cool you are, you, you've done it. We didn't think you could do it, but look at you go, you know. There's also a feeling with Sagittarius that you sometimes rely on the opinions of other people in order to garner your own success or in order to feel some kind of importance in what you do or in order to feel that you're on the right track, I guess is the words. And sometimes you just need other people to, to say, yes, that's okay, you're doing the right thing. This is also saying you don't need that. Okay, as long as you feel in your heart that it's the right thing, and also believe that everything has a way of, you know, falling into place. It doesn't always seem like it. And it doesn't always seem like, um, you know, that you are on top of everything. 
sometimes it feels like you're just snowed under, you know, just going backwards and pedaling backwards. Like it looks like you're Fred Flintstone and you're just going and you're not moving anywhere, you know. Um, sometimes it feels like that to you, that you're gathering all this speed, but you're not taking off. Well, you're just about to, okay? Number one, don't compare yourself to anybody else. You are unique in just how you are. Learn to love yourself for whoever, how, how you are, for all your flaws, for all your beauty, for all your grace, for all your knowledge. Love yourself completely and, you know, you will just emit so much love that it just becomes attracted to you all the time, right? Follow your dreams, whether they are in agreement with someone else and what they would like in their life or, or not. You know, follow your dreams, your goals, what you want to achieve. Don't stand around and wait for something to happen in your life, okay? It's time for you to reach out and grab it with a trust in your heart that if you do this, then all the other things that have been holding you back will just fall into place too. So sometimes people don't do anything because their partner may not like it or he can't do this or he can't do that. You must do what you've got to do for yourself. And if that partner that's in your life um, doesn't understand this, then that's not your fault. You know, you must be authentic to yourself. Trust in your abilities, okay? These are the five things I want to say to Sagittarius. Trust in your abilities and uh, trust in your um, inner strength to get through any situation because you're still here. You've gone through hell, but you're still here, okay? And you're going to keep on pushing through all of this worry and all this concern and all these issues by not allowing your mind to become bogged down with the, uh, what's the word, with the details of events. Okay, maybe you're looking at this detail and that detail and this and what if this happens and this and, and you, know, you don't move anywhere because you're too busy looking left and right. Okay, you're not going forward. You've got the green light, Sagittarius. Don't wait, okay? Because this is what you deserve. You deserve this creation, your own creation, money, abundance, the spiritual abilities to up, uplift, the teaching capabilities to come out, the confidence in yourself, you know, the confidence to do what you want to do, the acting, you know, uh, the singing, the music, whatever it is creatively, whatever it is that brings you joy, you've got it, you've got all the talent in the world, don't give up. Okay, I will push you. <laughs> if you need someone to push you, it's me. I will coach you forward, okay? You, um, we need you, okay? We need all of you. Whoever's listening to this, you're meant to be listening to this. And we need you all to just allow yourself to shine a little bit, you know, and allow your knowledge to come forward, okay? So Sagittarius, it's all happening, <laughs> okay? You're going to get the validation that you need to keep on going all right maybe it's this message i don't know but let's see what your domino angels say for the um, fire signs something happening quickly Qu quickly quickly archangel um Adnachiel, okay uh archangel Adnachiel is with you bringing news of a sudden trip well i've just been on one so i hope it's not me be it on a plane or a bus or a train, any type of transport, it seems to be something unexpected that requires you to attend. You've got to be there. You may also be doing some extra study, and that came up too. And this is part of your life purpose. Just, uh, it, it, oh, it is best to have an overnight bag ready just in case, all right? Sometimes just gathering all your things together and just doing this makes it happen, okay? It's a good time to start new things and develop new skills. There'll be an increase in your finances and rewards for past efforts. Thank you, Archangel Ignatio. Light a yellow candle, yellow, yellow solar plexus. Get your power back. Um, candle to connect. And Natio's definitely with me today, which means everything's gonna start happening fast, fast, fast. We are cruising along. The fire signs are doing a really, really good job. All the signs are, of course. But, you know, there's been crap for fire signs for a long time. 
I'm not saying there hasn't for everybody, but I just, you know, I need to be general here. There has been um, a lot of stuff going on. Now's our time. We're, we're not taking it anymore, shifting out of it, okay? And bring and see what it brings, okay? We know what the worry brings, so let's see what the happiness brings. All right. <laughs> I want to thank you all for listening. Um, if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I'm really excited. Um, and uh, bring many many blessings to you all I don't know what I was going to say bring what bring bring your um, happiness to the channel thank you so much <laughs> until the next video lots of love and bye for now bye I smack myself bye